Hi everyone, this is Dom Designs and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to draw a cute golden retriever dog from Sketch in Adobe Illustrator. Alright, so as you can see, I started off by drawing this cute dog based on a few reference images on a piece of paper. Once I'm done, I will import it on a 1920 by 1080 pixel canvas in Illustrator. If it's your first time on my channel and you enjoyed this video or any Adobe Illustrator tutorials, then please consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you don't miss any uploads. Let's begin by preparing our canvas. Firstly, I'll create a layer and set it as a template. I will then create a second layer for my outlines. As usual, I will use a black stroke with rounded caps and corners. Let's start by drawing the outline of the puppy using some shapes and the pen tool. I'll start by outlining the facial features and the head. For the muzzle, I will use the pen tool to draw two lines, and then I'll bring up the curvature tool to curve this perfectly. I will then bring up the reflect tool, or you can press O on your keyboard and option click at the center point to mirror. Make sure you click on copy once you're done. For the mouth area, I will create an oval, which I will cut using the shape builder tool. Make sure to select the overlapping lines and then Option or Alt click on this line to delete it. Awesome, now I'll do the same for his tongue. For the chin, I'll create a straight line and make sure I center it. Then, I'll go to the Effect menu, Warp and then click on Arc. Make sure your setting is set to Horizontal Play with the units until you get something like this. And then we make sure to expand appearance it to make sure it becomes a stroke. Let's move on to the eyes. This is self-explanatory as we will be using two black circles. All right, now that we have the eyes done, all we have to do is trace out the fur using the pen tool. Since I want the top of the head to be symmetrical, I will be creating an oval. With the pen tool, I can add new anchor points, which I will delete until I'm left with something like this. Then, I'll use the pen tool to continue the left part of the dog's head. Now let's move on to his body using the same methods. All we have to do is take the pen tool and just trace everything out.
It's always important to be efficient and consistent so for the back leg, instead of retracing it, I will copy over the front leg and place it in the back. To copy it over, all you have to do is hold Option or Alt and then drag it. Awesome, we're done with the bulk of the outline, so there's just one more step left. I'd like to make the illustration look more interesting, so I'll be tapering some strokes using the width tool. All you have to do is click and drag on different parts of the lines to vary the thickness. And we're finally done the outline of the puppy. The next step would be to determine where the shadows will be placed. In my case, I already determined my shadows when I created my sketch. So for this, I'll create a new layer and name it Shadow Layer. All you have to do now is trace out the shadows using the pen tool. Make sure you close off the shapes, even if it means tracing back over the main outline. Here comes the fun part, we can finally add color to the cute puppy. For starters, let's hide the shadow layer, then let's create a new layer and name it color. We can then select the whole outline except for the inner details like so. I'll be holding down shift and selecting all the parts that we don't need. This is perfect. Now that we have the outer shape selected, let's copy it down by holding Option or Alt and dragging it down to the color layer. We will then hide the outline layer. Perfect, now we can select everything and go to the object menu at the top and outline the strokes. As you can see, we have a bunch of shapes overlapping each other. So let's unite them using the Pathfinder tool. Now all we have to do is release the compound path and delete the outer shape. And the final step is to select everything and give it its base color, which I already picked out from my color palette, and turn on the outline layer to see the illustration. I'll then color in the areas by creating shapes with the pen tool. Let's finish off this cute illustration by adding the shadows and the highlights. Now let's go over to the shadow outline layer and turn it on. We will then select the shadow shapes and copy it over to the color layer. And then make sure to hide the shadow layer. And finally we can just invert the stroke to fill and give it a darker color to represent the shadows.
And finally, let's add a few little highlights at the top over here with the pen tool. I'll select a white color and just dim down the opacity a little bit to represent the highlight. And there you have it. This is how to draw a golden retriever dog in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know what animal you'd like me to draw next in the comments below. Have a good one and cheers everyone.